Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1181. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to count when the either number or letters are greater than four characters. So we're going to have two different formulas, because for numbers, it's pretty straightforward, right? If there's four characters, that means the number is greater than 1,000. However, over here, we're actually going to have to get a count for each individual cell of how many characters there are, and then count only when they're greater than or equal to four. So the criteria for counting numbers greater than four characters, hey, let's put 1,000 here. And then we'll use equals count ifs. Count ifs doesn't count all the numbers you highlight. It counts just some of them based on a condition or criteria. So I click on the top cell, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell. So there's criteria range 1, comma, and the criteria. Well, there's my 1,000, and I need a comparative operator, and I have to put it in double quotes. Greater than or equal to n double quotes. This is different than some other formulas, like array formulas, where you actually directly put the comparative operator next to the number or next to a range. And we'll see that over in our formula for counting characters. When you're using count ifs, that comparative operator has to be in double quotes. And then we join it using Shift 7, the ampersand. That's the join symbol with our 1,000. Now, you could just hard code this. If I were to highlight this and hit F9, you actually could do it just that way. But then you're hard coding a number that can potentially change into a formula, and that violates Excel's golden rule. So I'm going to Control Z. I'm going to leave it like that. Close parentheses, Control Enter. So there's 15. Now, when we come over here, we're going to have to, again, get an individual count for each cell. And I'm, I could go like this, equals len. And the len function just tells you how many characters are in a cell. Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. So there I can see this one I don't want to count. This one I do, because it's greater than 4. Now, we're going to try and do this in a single cell formula. And we want to notice something about jumping from what's called a helper column. Because now we could easily come up here and say count ifs, and then have a 4 here greater than 4. But if you can't have this helper formula, we can simulate this helper formula in the cell by noticing that the len function is looking at a single cell and reporting a 3. Here, the len function is looking at a single cell and reporting 6 all the way down to the bottom. right? So it's like there's a whole range of lengths. Well, we actually can simulate that right in a single cell by saying equals len. And this text argument is expecting a single cell or a single text item. We're going to give it a whole column. So I click on the top cell, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell, close parentheses. Now let's do our same trick to highlight and hit the F9 key to evaluate it and see what it looks like. F9. And sure enough, we've simulated the entire column. 3, 6, 5, 6, 3, 6, 5, 6, 1 in the cell, Control-Z. This is a special kind of formula called an array formula. And what's happening is, because that argument was given multiple cells, the len function spits out multiple items. An array calculation, we get an array of results. Now, what I want to do is directly compare are you greater than or equal to, and you know what? I forgot to put the 4 there, but watch that. Right, I'll go change, put the 4 there in a second. But notice, this is much different than our count ifs. The comparative operator is compared directly against our array. And it's directly compared against the single criteria, which is going to be 4. Now, I'm just going to hit Enter, and we'll get a value error. Don't worry about that. But I'm going to put a 4 here. Come down here, F2. Now we can highlight this using our F9 trick, F9. And sure enough, whoa, we get a bunch of trues and falses. So false true because 6 is greater than or equal to 4. True because 5 is greater than or equal to 4. Now, Control Z, we need to count all of those trues and falses. We cannot put this into the count ifs functions, because the count ifs functions, most of the arguments in that function won't handle array operations. But we can use the sum product. Not only can the sum product understand, notice the argument is called array. Not only can it understand this 
array calculation and all those trues and falses. But because it's some product and it's built to handle arrays, we don't have to use any special keyboard. Now, technically, what some product does is you put in multiple arrays and it multiplies and then adds. But because we're putting just a single array, all we're going to do is the sum part. It'll just add. Now, there's a trick here because some product cannot see trues and falses. Close parentheses and enter, it gets a zero because it doesn't know what to do those with those trues and falses. But we can simply do any math operation. And let me just F9, notice trues and falses. Any math operation on Boolean values, trues and falses, will convert them to ones and zeros. And some product will have no problem with that. Control Z. I'm going to choose the math operation double negative, because in general, that is the fastest and most efficient math operation when converting trues and falses to ones and zeros. Now let me come to the end, close parentheses, and then I'm going to click inside and click on this array one and watch the trues and falses, F9, be converted to ones and zeros. Now the sum product, the sum part, will just add the ones, and that will be our count for words or text where the characters are greater than or equal to 4. So enter, and there are 13. If I were to change this to R, instantly I get an update. If I were to change this to 1,000, instantly I would get an update. So for counting characters greater than 4 for numbers, we simply say greater than or equal to 1,000. For text items, we have to get a little tricky. We use the len with a an array operation greater than or equal to our hurdle, double negative to get those trues and falses to ones and zeros, and then some product to add them. All right, we'll see you next video.